I know you don't smoke. No. I am Baba Lojas. My name is Tembela. No H. Tiawan. My name is Ruthie CVC. Abulele. Peterson. My name is Donny Jesus. Talita Madima. My name is Oliver M. Caesar. My name is Zano Kusham Shama. Stafara Yatanza. But I need a moment where you may have passed you back. Stage manager. I'm playing the character Pelu. Uh, Saradai and Senna. I'm playing fire and wood. Humelo's mind. Oh, I'm playing my bello. Get Oh, must I repeat the question? No, I don't. Okay, get I play Tiamo. I'm playing mother. I co wrote the play, the story. I am the writer and director for this play. Because when he said, are you talking to the buyer? My loan is effective with schizophrenia. I'm going to talk to the buyer. I'm going to talk to the buyer. I'm going to talk to the no ma yi ni mvetu pa tinking ugu tabanya ba yi zwalendu ya bo ziwa uye na pele. I'm sort of fire and wood in times where the fire doesn't exist. I am wood, and when a fire is there, then I'm fire. Mother is damaged, guys. Okay. Mother is going through the most, and yet she must still be a mother. Now we all know what mothers do they need to keep it together for not only themselves but their children and the community and appear okay but inside i she's going through the most so is a four, 15 year old child female child who's very depressed because she always feels left out of everything uh, she just can't take things the way that any normal child will take them like with senna senna is a bit bipolar. Ketu is a 25 year old non binary body. Basically, if I just sum it up, the world is Ketu's oyster. Does that make sense? That's dope. Okay. Tiamo is a 21 year old uh, male who is diagnosed with ADHD. But also, um, Tiamo is one of those characters that we all are, you know, where he chooses to contain himself so that he can help other people but the problem is him bottling up how he feels becomes negative and then he then hmm. oh. a pillow is, is a very unpredictable person and he he's on his own world and as much as he wants to explain to people what what he's feeling inside he doesn't he doesn't state it directly. He gives you examples that that will make you see it in a different way. But he's just a misunderstood person. No one understands him. I don't know, but emphasize you were outside. Did you guys hear that so <laughs> Really nice. Um I'm not bra, like I'm getting to play with a lot of things. I'm getting to realize the other way around. So that is really, really nice and really um yeah, as an artist you must you know play with these things, see these things, which is really cool. Rehearsals are very interesting, I'm enjoying them and it's really nice to be in a space where people are just doing their thing and performing, watching other people and you know, getting direction from the director sort of makes me discover new things that I wouldn't have put into a performance, I guess. Okay. Everything is, is amazing. I find the director very... You know, amazing. Very, very fun. I mean, I'm getting bruises, like a lot of bruises, but I'm still enjoying it, so it's all cool. Yeah. Okay. Rehearsals always, it's a, it's a nice, chilled environment. They've made it playful. They've made it very interactive. Uh, we can suggest things, so we have a very, like, um, our director allows us to have an input so that it's not just his play and we, the characters, but it becomes our play. Yo, I'm getting more information about Pedro and more information about my character when I'm in the space, where else when I'm alone, I, I get so, so many ideas and so many things that just, just popping up and down and I can't make a decision. But when I'm here, I know I've got my fellow 
cost to help me out and my directors also are very helpful. They are unpredictable because you never know what's expected of you. But knowing your role is important because once you know the guideline of what you expected to do, then everything falls into place. Yeah. Rehearsals are different. For me, it's like meditation because I don't get lines. Um, so it's, it's quite dope and it's unpredictable. It's, you don't expect anything of that day. You just expect to be tired, probably, for the actors. I know I'm tired mentally most of the time. <laughs> Amazing, challenging, but great. I love them. Wow, it is getting really hectic. It's a lot, but um, rehearsals are really fun. It just took me out of my comfort zone of just standing on stage and doing a monologue. You know, this one, there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of cues that you have to follow it's it's, it's amazing it's it's really great i'm really enjoying my time with this um production the director is very energetic <laughs> and i feel like he carries us so much and even if you come to rehearsals a bit tired that day he's gonna be like okay guys we're doing seeing this so it sort of you know takes you out of that tired you know lazy mindset and body into basically the space and being able and ready to perform yo direct you see push guys every day yo um but also what I what I really like about the director is that um, not only Ugutu has pushed it, but we are stated Ugutu not as far in Bono Yetiabo, which is really cool because you, you are not just being directed on something you don't understand. You are allowed to ask questions, which really does help in you building the character and you really, you know, going deep in understanding the character. First of all, I don't know what normal person thinks of writing such. The things we, we go through the rehearsals. There's, there's, there's a lot of things that we, we've learned in, in rehearsals, like Rasa's, and yeah, man, he, he, he takes us up and, and builds us. I found out stuff that I didn't know that I could do as, as a performer. He, he's actually dope. I learned so much from him, and I'm always looking forward to just coming through to help him. It doesn't even take that much. The director, oh my gosh, wow. He is amazing, professional, um, but he's very strict, you know? He wouldn't tell you, but you can see in the way that he says, okay, guys, and then he'll just be like, you let me know when you're ready with your lines. I'm like, yo, <laughs> silent murder. But I love that because it has made us stronger people and, and, and he has helped us build and shape our characters in the right way and yeah. He's smart. Yes, yes, but He's beyond yes, this world. Like, I'm a best experience ever in my life. Uh, that's like, and now currently I'm at a point of my life where I feel like this is what I've always wanted. It's true financially and everything. I'm not there. The space, the type of director, the type of people. It felt like a dream come true. The play. The, the director is someone I've always wanted to work with, somehow. I thought it would be a scene, I didn't think it would be a whole play. So it's now it's like, huh, look at that, huh? Out of this world. I've never worked with somebody who's so hands-on in each and every single word that you say. Lovely. Absolutely amazing. Working with the director is always a good time, but also he gets into his director role and that's when you kind of feel it, you know? And yeah, everyone else has to get in their role. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 unpredictable, adaptable, and very fun. Ah, oh, amazing! He's very very patient, um, and his direction is also very clear. So I'm never like stressing. Let's see, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Because he makes sure that you understand what he's saying. So it's a lot of fun, and he's he thinks very differently in a very nice fun way so yeah i'm really enjoying working with him yo rehearsals so when i leave home i don't know what rehearsals look like you step into the space and then the performers show you things and then you're like oh okay i should do this i should do that i should do that so 
I sort of I sort of leave home knowing what the lines are saying, but then as soon as you step into the rehearsal space, then you realize what the lines have to say, if that makes sense. You find out what you're supposed to do as you do it, and that's also been like a very eye-opening um, experience with such great actors who are proposing things to you, and then you get other ideas. I, I never saw this happen this way, but because this specific performer or this actor has translated the text in other ways, it makes it it makes my job easier as the director. It was frustrating though. Cool. <laughs> you are hallucinating. Wola. <laughs> 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 <laughs>